you saying about me being here? It was lovely. I really <laughs> right. enjoyed it. Best, week, best time I ever had in my life. Okay. Um, are you ready to dump the tanks for us? Uh, I'm dumping them right now. Colonel Sanders is not dead. Oh, I thought I was dead. <laughs> he just cooked us well, lunch. Glad move and then... in the mailbox. Hugging the mailbox. <laughs> Waiting for the check. Uh, wait a minute. Where's the fire? Most Where's interesting the... man in the world. Where's the fire? <laughs> Wild thing. I don't always drop acid, but when I do. <laughs> but I want to know for sure. You're rushing. suck, make sure you're tuned the sucky way. Here's the way I do it. I make sure that they're aligned in the same direction. Very important. <laughs> if you're facing the right direction, you're good to go. I have an uncle. We used to call him Uncle Boring because he worked for the CIA and he couldn't talk about anything. Yeah. It's like, what's up, Uncle Boring? Right. Zip. He'd walk in with duct tape on his mouth. <laughs> My other uncle, though, that Ted is awesome. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a teddy yeah. bear. He's so fun. We got to eat breakfast at the diner. Small town style with the, the Greek host. Yeah. The yeah, staff. staff. <laughs> the, the setting up for the unplugged clinic. <laughs> Fishman unplugged because we have no power. Yeah, this is Jim. I had more hair an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly. Uh, it was it Columbus, Ohio? The power was out. Oh, yeah. And then, so we fucked off to where the power wasn't out. <laughs> Right. Lunch. Yeah. <laughs> then we yeah. came back and parked about two inches from the door because it was a torrential downpour. Yeah. Just hopped the curb, went up there. They were crazy fun. It's my new reality show. Thank you so much for coming out on this Labor Day. You should all be home in a food coma. But no, you're here instead. That's awesome. If you hear a bend and you don't see my hand on the tremolo or bending with my fingers, it's all coming from my foot. <laughs> And now we're headed back home. Cheers. Cheers. That was like Cheers. 555 shows in yeah. uh, every state in America. Around the world in 80 days. Yeah. It was, it was tough taking the RV to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Auntie Elm, Auntie Elm, it's too windy to keep the cones up. Smash. Smash. It's a smash tour. Hey, cheers to Howie Mendelssohn. Yes, cheers. Appreciate it. For having the brains to realize that we didn't know what the hell we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sorting us out. Thank you, Sam Ashers. Howie, Sammy, Ben, Sneezy, Sleazy, <laughs> Dopey. <laughs> I am old, I am old. All the ashes. Yeah, there's a lot of them, man. You guys breathe like rabbits. I don't know what's up with you. Hey, if they ever asked me to do it again, I'd do it. <laughs> they asked me too. It was a fantastic tour, and we're done, and we're so goddamn tired. That was a good show tonight. It was a good show. Yeah, you sounded good. Thank you. I, I dug yeah. in, I got into a good space, and it took all, all of my marbles. To get through that. I like the house sound. I, I knew you were in a little trouble when you had blood coming out your ears. <laughs> when the sound guy came up with the iPad. Yeah, and tripped <laughs> into it and went, shh. <laughs> lordy, lordy. And then uh, we're so full of mosquito bites. I got welts on my head. <laughs> I was trying to hide under the sleeping bag yeah. last night. I could hear those bastards around my head. And yeah, I was suffocating. Yeah, here we are staying in a deluxe house <laughs> and you choose yeah. the rv hey man that's how much i ain't gonna let this gear get stoted last night was ridiculous it was like apocalypse now when you you're going down the river it's really quiet you see maybe a couple stars and all of a sudden this city opens up it was unbelievable amazing uh rob amazing silverman. house rob silverman man the guy rocks we're looking at the house going, this is mighty fine. Then he takes us down into the basement where most people have their little hobbies and ping pong tables. He's got Las Vegas. Right, <laughs> yeah, laser show. And... 
<laughs> it's amazing. There's, how studio. many drum kits are in that house? There was at least five. I made a little five. drum instructional video studio in there that I haven't made one video in, but because of your empowerment workshop, I'm gonna get in there and kick some butt. You go kick you some ass, Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, you wanna check it out? Hell You'll yeah. You'll be the first to see it. Yeah. Is that a bomb ticking? Just checking. No, that's a strobe light. Oh. <laughs> it's like some people have a radio in every room. He's got a drum kit in every room. Yeah, yeah this that's is so cool. You don't wanna have to go too far to make noise. Rob Silverman's Drum Set 101 video workshop. CS. Fantastic. Start a channel, you got me motivated. He said he forgot about the one room that had <laughs> the drums. <laughs> He had cobwebs on him. Yeah. Man, he fired up the barbecue. Keep it Good down, people. Keep it down. Good hang. <laughs> All right. What we need now is a good clap of thunder. I hit the pool this morning. That was good. Got to swim in before we left. I, I was swimming in mosquitoes this morning. <laughs> I woke up and pretended it wasn't happening and went back to sleep. weird that we're at the end. I oh, know, it's depressing. <laughs> it's goddamn depressing. I was on a roll. I was really happy. Most every day I was happy and cheery. Yeah, it was good times. Was... Met a lot of great friends. Yeah, yeah. Met a lot of good people. We made friends. We made friends. There's a new one. There's a new one. I'm getting my vegetables. I'm getting my fruit. <laughs> That's all that's left. It's nastiness. That's all we got. You'll see. You'll see. You'll the, see. the fridge was... Yeah. Mm, man. Mm. What was that Leonard Skinner song? What's that smell? What's that smell? That was... It was the refrigerator in the RV. It uh -huh. hadn't been hooked we up. We found it. We found out what it was. After yeah. all these years. And it wasn't pretty. Yeah. He's got a mayonnaise. It's just... <laughs> it's just my mayonnaise. <laughs> Running away. He bites into a fig and it looks like a dog's butthole. <laughs> He goes, oh, I missed my dog. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> You'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the longest train in the history of mankind. We've been sitting at this stoplight for about four and a half hours. Uh, not again. I don't want to get abducted again. Right. Turn right onto a front street. Nice going, Siri. We're never <laughs> getting home. <laughs> Yeah, the word gets out, right? We get the rig rundown at the end of the tour, and all of a sudden, all this flood of mail is coming in. It's, oh, you were here a week ago. Ah, ah, ah. When's the DVD coming out? Right. <sighs> yeah. So, who are you well, calling a yes? So? <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a rig dumb down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get rig rundowns. I get rig dumb downs. That's. I'm moving up. Like, where I'm do you put up. the high E string? Yeah. Do you always put that on the bottom? Do you find it's louder when you plug in a cable? Black ones. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any dumber than that. Outtakes. There's a reason we don't have our own TV show. We'll be back for more RV TV right after this message. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsors. Hey. Hey, you guys, hey. <laughs> He's stunned. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh, good to see you. Thank you. Oh, love you. For most of you that have not done RVing, this is the most glamorous part. So the tour is concluded also. It's over. This is Colbert vacation. Colbert talking yeah. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> right. Concluded also, amigo. <laughs> so we did the smart thing and came to Yellowstone. I've never been here before. You've never been here before. No. no. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah. Yellowstone. 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 <laughs> 
So we drove, what, nine hours to get to Yellowstone? Yeah. And we're all yeah. bitching about, God damn, it was a lot of effort to get here. We just drove around <laughs> the entire United States. All of a sudden, when it's not to get to a job, it's like, God damn, this is inconvenient. Right, right. <laughs> but I noticed we didn't bitch anymore yesterday when we were cruising around. Geysers are neat. Yeah, it's beautiful, except we all got bloody boogers because it's all <laughs> so dry. Pretty dry. And you mamma jammas are snoring. I don't know if I was snoring too. We were all snoring. I a put bit. on my two thousand dollars Sensophonics earplugs last night. <laughs> yes. I'm like, yes. I ain't gonna sit through this. If I'm snoring, you better put on the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, because he snores loud when he's snoring. <laughs> I know, and and you pause every once in a while. That's yeah. the teaser. Mm -hmm. Think, okay, it's done. And then, right. <laughs> no, no, it's it's never done. It's uh, never done. Don't you smack him? No, I just put the pillow over my head and. Oh, honey. Yeah. I just you, you are know. a woman here. You roar. You got a fucking elbow. But on. I don't snore all the time. So, Stacy, how many shots do you put in your uh, americano? <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! That's why you do the work of three people. Yes. Zach Macy, I'm gonna take you to the bridge. <laughs> I'll have the top one. <laughs> I'll have the bottom <laughs> right. Marshmallows for oh, those <laughs> careful, are hot when handled. I don't Okay, Clink. Cheers. We just did that. We just did that. So just doing that. First time I ever dry camped where you got no uh, AC. Eight o'clock in the morning, people are ripping their generators. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sound of nature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody's got a campfire. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> all the amateur campfires are nine feet tall. <laughs> right. Where they right. put them. Nastiness and lighter fluid. Oh you know. God, it smells like ass. Yeah. <laughs> I would walk in and I go to the one sink and there's a cricket and a beetle. So okay, I'm gonna go to the other sink and I turn the turn the water on. A spider comes out. Oh man, huge spider. Yeah. Yeah, he did reconnaissance. I heard about it. And said, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the showers. I'm <laughs> fine. Oh man, this is good. <laughs> So what was your favorite part of the tour, Mr. Salamander? Man, just meeting all kinds of cool people. That was the best. Yeah, that was the, the best. connection. Actually physically being there, getting immediate feedback from people. Not not people hiding behind their computers on YouTube giving you snide comments and stuff. Snide comments to your face is to, much to, better. To, I, I, can, I can appreciate that. <laughs> I was just writing to Howie that it's meant so much more have people writing back to us about the seminars than any gig like that yeah. was a cool gig you played well i mean that's great right but to have somebody go you really inspired me and i've done this this and this since the seminar i'm like to hear the results that's it. yeah i think that's great i mean all the comments people taking the time to to message and yeah you know and, and say what they got out of things and what they're doing with it now it's Indeed. fantastic just the immediate feedback <laughs> yeah, was, Is this thing on? We had a few of those. We had a few of those. Oh God, those, those, man! Those feedback. I, I've been made sterile many times over from uh, feedback. The last self empowerment. That guy drove three and a half hours to to be there. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, wow. We had that happen a lot with people. It helps to promise them things that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs>
that's right. I was in this band yeah. in San Diego, and we, we put on an ad one time that said, free sushi. And then when they got to the club, we go, uh, now about that free sushi, it's, his name is Alejandro. We're trying to free him from jail. <laughs> right, there you free go. Free Alejandro yeah. sushi. What was your favorite part of the tour? Uh, now you're asking the tough questions. <laughs> Getting the hell out of New York. Yeah, that was good. Oh my God. That was good. That was like leaving a war zone. Yeah. It was amazing. Some of the campgrounds that were like a little oasis. Long Island was one. Long Island. I didn't was, expect that at did all. Did not expect that. Going over the George Washington Bridge, thirty-eight dollars every time. Thirty-eight bones, man. That was just one of like five hundred tolls. You think that the tolls would make good roads? Nah, somebody's Christie, Governor Christie's taking all that money. <laughs> right, right. And the roads are still shit. We drove <clears throat> during the night, late, late night, because we knew it would be hellish in the day. Yeah. And it was hellish at night. <laughs> 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 that's how hellish it was <laughs> when we were driving oh, yeah. and and we hear someone honking at us yeah i went on the passengers only i'm a passenger <laughs> even though i'm 12 feet high <laughs> somebody's like rolling honking and rolling down his window and i'm thinking i got a light out or something he goes you're not supposed to be on this road <laughs> what am i supposed to do pull over and cry right right there's nothing we could do at that point <laughs> we're there yeah, luckily all the, there was no bridges slower than 12 feet. Otherwise, we would be missing an air conditioner. Yeah. And crying. Oh, that was so stressful. Never again. I said never again the first time I took the the RV into New York. Well, never again. Never Unless again. I have a trucker's GPS. That's the only way I would ever do it. We know what roads to take now, but I whether you'd want to or not. Uh, hell no. I think like fifty thousand dollar minimum to come to New York. <laughs> Forties York. just to pay the tolls. <laughs> right. right. Now there's some good highlights. There was a lot of cool things. South Carolina, meeting my best friend from high school and junior high. But it was North Carolina. Oh, you're right. Yeah. What's a Carolina between friends? Well, that's right. What's a Carolina <laughs> between? <laughs> and one time we were going up towards her house up this hill. And we were all in the back saying, <laughs> step on it, burn rubber. And so she did. <laughs> well, we didn't realize her parents were behind us. Oops. Oh, man. That didn't go down well. She yeah. got so grounded. <laughs> she got grounded a lot, man. She was a bad kid. And now she's a lawyer. She was the first to do everything. First to get the driver's license. She was a little bit older than us. <laughs> all right, we did that adventure. What's next, Marianne? Well, when she started... Hot wiring cars and stealing them, we kind of, uh, kind of <laughs> yeah. busy this yeah. weekend. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know, another highlight too is is all all the cool musicians that that I met and some great players, some really ripping yeah. players, people we exchanged music and and now are friends on Facebook. Man, it's always great to connect, getting out into the world. You can never have that experience by staying home and cutting no. records and putting them out. No. You can feel like you're connecting on social media and on YouTube and all that, but nothing beats meeting people in person. No, man. Getting that energy, that aura, that riffing. You yeah. know, it's all about improvising, it's... whether it's words or music. You say your body's got... Okay, it's all about Rush, but... Well, there's Giddily. Yeah. Giddily. Does he have a family? Certainly. A sister certain? Giddily, certainly. Apparently. They were the parents. The parent, <laughs> apparently. And then Joe DiOrio Day was awesome. See, last time I was on tour, I only had two hours to stop in Connecticut and see Joe DiOrio. Monster jazz guitar player that taught at MI when I was there. I memorized two of his books. Phenomenal creative soul. And so this time I said, you know what? We are booking a solid day. We don't have to do anything but yeah. hang. And he showed us all his paintings, all his drawings. He's into so many different bags. Watercolor. I always latched onto him. Such a, a, a spiritual dude. Deep, deep creative soul. That was a cool p place he had up there to, to work in. And oh, his, his sanctuary. Go up these stairs, are practically like a ladder, you know, getting in there. But once he's there, I know his world changes. Oh. A little bit on the fringe. Yeah. I was so stuff. inspired last time I saw him. He was just getting all into the watercolor. And, ah, it's amazing when you don't know what's going to happen and the water moves. Yeah. And I was just left, just buzzed. Like, ah, I can't believe I <laughs> yeah. have to leave. Look what we got happening later.
Mad Libs. Mad Libs. Yeah, let's not even get in there yet. <laughs> right, that, right. That's a few marshmallows away. Yeah. Look, Check we it. have one more blue catalog left. Yeah, man, we give a lot away. Only yeah. to those drooling at not having to lift it. How much does Marshall's heads weigh? Like 50 pounds? Yeah, uh-huh. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need all those Vecca um tubes. No. <laughs> all you need is a nanotube. <laughs> nano, nano. Nanotube. There's a few people kind of trying to court you out there. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was... well, why didn't you tell me? I'm well, how, how many times did you get your hand kissed out there? Yeah. Well, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, but you handled it well. Does it smack him upside the head? No, you didn't smack him upside the head. You, you just buy me it. dinner before you kiss my hand. <laughs> <laughs> If you got, how many about. mic checks do you have to do in a lifetime? And how boring is it to, 15 years into it, be going one, two, yes, check one, exactly. check two. You, you've got the jive talk going. Take a look at your bros on dead trip with the folks who speaking, man. Pies laid to the bone, holes of blood, hammering out jam, <laughs> cheese, cheese, turn that bad sucker side to run away like a mug. Yeah. Nice. <laughs>